This is Polly. Polly is here today for a nail trim. Uh, he's a three-banded armadillo. So you can look at his back. See one, two, three bands between the front part of his carapace and the back part of his carapace here. People don't realize that they do have little hairs. So if you look close, there's these tiny little hairs on his back that come through there. They are mammals, so they have hair just like anything else does. He has a very interesting face. You can see how their face and their tail just fit perfectly together to form a shell where you can't get into any of their soft parts. So this is one of the ways that they protect themselves and they're very tough for predators to get to if anything were to happen. There's nowhere really to give him an injection at to get to a soft spot, right? So, and, and you can't even really get to his nose to use a mask. We use mask induction with gases. So a lot of times what we'll do instead is make a modified chamber, which is a chamber induction, where we put him into a milk carton, and then we'll cover him up and seal that with a soft surface. Uh, and then we can use a little chamber induction with some inhalant gas that puts them under anesthesia so we can work on their feet. You rarely get to see the underside of an armadillo. So this is a male armadillo. Um, and so they, you can see that they have great claws built for digging. Um, they've got lots of fur under there that helps uh, protect them and keep them warm and stuff. This is his reproductive organ, which has a very interesting uh, little detail at the end there. That's called a urethral process. And it helps keep sand and other dirt and debris out of their urethra, the tip of the genitals there. Um, and then, so then, this is the underside of their tail and the bottom of their little feet, which the bottoms of their feet are one of the cutest things on earth. Uh, but this is what the underside of an armadillo looks like. When he's in the clinic for his annual exam, part of that means collecting a blood sample. And so we insert the needle for a jugular blood draw. And when I pull the syringe back or when I pull the plunger back, you'll see that there looks like there's a little airspace, but that's actually a vacuum that's created from the pressure inside of the syringe that allows the blood to fill that space that's there. So it's not actually air. Ferret ultrasounds can be kind of tough if you try to do them the same way as a cat or a dog, so this is a different technique that you can use to hold them. I usually set their little tush on my leg, give them some support, and then scruff them lightly. It makes them go into a bit of a trance-like state. And then you can apply some alcohol to their belly to get the fur out of the way. Now, ferrets hate the smell of alcohol more than almost anything, so you have to let them throw a little temper tantrum after you put it on, and that's okay. After you've got the alcohol on there, you can put a little bit of ultrasound gel onto your probe, and then you get good contact. I really like these hockey stick probes. I think that they give me a lot of detail, they're very high frequency, so they tend to be the best for these small mammals. This is an African serval cat, and so sometimes it can be found in different rescues and things like that, and that can be your vet clinic. So if that's one of those situations that happens, you have to give this a few shot. Most of them are pretty patient and tolerant. Um, this guy is 18 years old. He was rescued a long time ago, but recently ate a foam cord. Now, servals are known for being particularly uh, prone to eating a lot of things that they're not supposed to eat. And so this is... Uh, even the best of the best care, these guys can sneak into places where there's something that's hidden away and they'll ingest them. So we have to be really careful with servals, make sure that they don't eat things they're not supposed to. But he had surgery uh, and we were able to remove that. So this is his post-op incision. He's just getting around with antibiotics before he goes home um, and he should be great.